Round five in the NRL. It's a pretty tough one to pick, isn't it? Let's make it a little bit easy with the team from NRL on Fox, Wendell Saley, Gary Freeman and Laurie Daly. G'day, boys. Let's right. get into it. Right. Uh, Wiz, firstly, St George Illawarra and the Broncos. The Broncos are going terribly at the moment. Who are you tipping here? Yeah, well, look, it'll be hard to pick the Broncos. I think they'll do a very, very tough down there at Wynn Stadium. I think the Dragons will certainly bounce back to their best form. I think Jamie Sow will step up to the mark, start running the ball a bit better. Um, and, mate, honestly, the, the Dragons side should win by 20. Also, the uh, Gold Coast Titans take on the Melbourne Storm at Skill Park. And, Loz, this is an interesting one because the Titans are a team that have scored uh, a couple of times against the Storm and caused them a few troubles. Yeah, I think they won last year without Scott Prince against Melbourne in Melbourne, so that's always very difficult. Look, Melbourne are travelling very well at the moment. They've won their first four games. I don't think there'll be much between the two sides. If Scott Prince was playing, I probably would tip the Gold Coast team, but he's not... I didn't think they looked that sharp without him last weekend. At home, they'll be a lot different, but I'll go with winning form and stick with Melbourne. Don't forget about Super Saturday on NRL uh, here on Fox Sports. It kicks off from 2 p.m. and uh, one of the games we'll be showing will be from Blue Tongue Stadium as the South Sydney Rabbitohs take on the Newcastle Knights. And the way the Rabbits went on Monday Night Football, Dell, they're going to be hard to beat. Yeah, look, it's about the standard, you know, and, and they played like we talked about at the start of the year. Uh, I saw them in Charity Shield. I thought they were going to be one of the teams to beat, and what I saw Monday night indicates that. So, you know, Dave Taylor, Sam Burgess, and Isaac Luke, I'm a massive fan. Um, cheeky little hooker and um, a good player. So Super Saturday continues at Dairy Farmer Stadium as the Cowboys host the West Tigers and both of these teams in good form with. Yeah, look, the Cowboys have certainly bounced back to some of their best football that on the back of Jonathan Thurston and young Ray Thompson in the 5'8 position. He's played very, very good uh, football. i got to say this, though. I am tipping the West Tigers only because of the way they come back against Canberra last week. They can score points, and they can score a ton of them in short passage of time frames. So I'm going to tip them as the biggest upset over the weekend against the Cowboys. Super Saturday at ANZ Stadium as the Bulldogs host the Warriors, and the Warriors have a terrible record against the Doggies' loss. Yeah, they do. I think the bounce-back factor here will come to, come into play. Uh, the Bulldogs, I think they would be very disappointed with their, not so much their effort, but the way they are out-muscled. I think it'll be a, um, a game for them where they'll want to stand up and show that they're still capable of challenging this competition, and I think they can expect to, uh, to hit back against the Warriors. Sunday at Brookvale Oval, it's an interesting one because the Seagulls host the Sharks who have finally got a win on the board and they've got their tails up, Del. Yeah, look, I'm happy for the Sharks. Um, a good young side. Um, and losing, you know, when you lose, you just get that losing negativity. And now they've won a game. If they can beat Manly here, well, who knows? The Sharks could be on a roll this year. The mighty Penny Panthers, who had a terrific win over the Newcastle Knights, take on the Sydney Roosters also on Sunday. This is a cracker, Wiz. It will be, because the Sydney Roosters really bounced back well, I thought, last week. And the defence that they put on throughout that whole 80 minutes was was the best that they've had all season. The Penny Panthers, well, they were very, very loose in the first 40 against New Newcastle. They bounced back again. They're another side. They can just be turn it on or turn it off. You don't know what you're going to get with them. But at home, they're very hard to beat, so the Panthers to win. The Parramatta Eels on Monday Night Football host the Canberra Raiders, and who better to get the thoughts on this game than one of the best ever for the Canberra Raiders in Laurie Daly? Will that even get them? <laughs> Where's your I know you're talking about someone else. <laughs> will, that, will, will the passion that you have for the Raiders uh, make you tip them this, oh, this Monday? Look, I want to tip the Canberra Raiders every time they play, but unfortunately, my <laughs> head rules my my heart. Now no, your wallet. Well, yes. Yeah, that too. Um, Look, the Raiders, until they learn to win away from home, they'll never carry my cash. But Parramatta are going ordinary. There's yeah. no two ways about it. They are struggling for confidence. Oh, look, I'll tip Parramatta, given that they're playing Canberra on their home dunghill. If they were playing anyone else, I'd probably tend to tip against them. So we'll see how it works out. Boys, enjoy the weekend's footy, and hopefully you will enjoy the weekend's NRL as well. Don't forget, this is your home of rugby league, NRL on Fox Sports.